Why, hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Engineer's Life. Uh, this is episode 21. And today, I think we're going to start working on some more cooking for blockheads because my food is pretty crummy. Uh, so we're working on this toaster quest here and I got it all together here. So let's see. This turns, uh, magically turns red into toast. <laughs> Uh, so we get some experience for that. So, okay. Whoa. Uh, need more food. I don't know what that is. Um, something with a carrot. A sink. Okay. So five terracotta, three iron, and then a water bucket. Uh, let's grab this bucket over here. I'm hoping that with this, <laughs> completing all this stuff, I can get some better food because... I'm constantly eating now with uh, when I go mining or something like that. And it's kind of getting annoying, to be completely honest. Uh, what did I need? I need terracotta and iron. I have everything on me. Okay. Uh, it was this, that up there, and then water bucket. Yep. Sink. Okay. Provides water to recipes. Oh, okay. So now we don't need like to provide water to to uh, things like a water bucket instead of, I, I don't know, honestly. I guess these things would say something as well, right? So, oh, I had a bunch of coal cook in there? Oh, uh, enables smelting abilities. Oh, I think I tried doing that, but it did. And well, maybe I, maybe I didn't try cooking actually food in there. Maybe I just kind of threw stuff in there. I don't know what I did. Stores ingredients for recipes. Oh, okay, so this, that's kind of like a chest almost, okay. So let's gather all this stuff here. I might uh, build a little separate location or something. I don't know. Maybe actually, you know what? I'll build it like over here. So it's like kind of overviewing the pond or something like that. I, I don't know. <laughs> all right, let's claim that. It's more XP. Uh, a fridge, okay. Stores ingredients for recipes. Dyable, so you can change the color it looks like. Uh, so we just need an iron door and a chest. Oh, okay, so that's actually Kind of cheap, isn't it? Is the door? Oh, yeah, three doors. Okay. Uh, let's make a chest too. Okay, get the chest, door, fridge. Okay, so we get more storage for food. Okay, some more experience. What is this? Spice rack and a tool rack. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's literally just a slab. Okay. And then three slabs and then two iron nuggets. Do I have any nuggets in here? Uh, probably not. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Fortunately, I have to break up a whole ingot just to do that. Uh, so I need a slab for the spice rack, and then three up there. And oh no, it was it was like this. Yeah. Okay. So we got the tool rack and the spice rack. Complete that, get some more experience. What is this? Cooking cooking table, okay. Enables crafting abilities. Okay, isn't that what, uh, oh, it's smelting. Okay, I thought, I thought that was that too, okay. So we need some stone. Crafting for blockheads too. You need the book to do that, oh. Look at all the food recipes we're unlocking. I didn't even notice that, I was just, Going in a straight line here. Okay. Um, oh, wow. That's kind of expensive. Uh, okay, so it's terracotta, some stone, and then I need to make this book. So we had the first book. We need two crafting stations and two diamonds. Okay. So two of these. Um, we need that book. Two diamonds. There we go. Okay, and then what was it again? I already forget to be honest. Oh, terracotta and three stone. So I had the terracotta. I just need some fancy stone. Okay, terracotta now, and then the book. Do we get the book? Wait, what? Oh, does that does does the stone not work? Does it actually have to be chiseled? Okay, well that's annoying. <laughs> 
Uh, I wonder if I can use these regular stone. I don't even know if I have it, Chisel. I think I broke it and never... Oh, nice. I can just use regular stone. Okay. Okay, so that's done. Right? Oh, we never got our book back. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> we didn't get the book back. Okay, so we have a ton of recipes now. So we completed all... It looks like the multi-block stuff or whatever it's called. Yeah, multi-block kitchen. So if I set this up all like in a row, will it do something, I wonder? Provides tools to recipes, stores spices and ingredients. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's, yeah, let's set this stuff up, I guess. And see what happens. All right, let's, um, how do I want to set this up? So let's put the fridge right here. It's a mini fridge, okay. I thought it was gonna be like too tall, but okay. Uh, let's put cooking table. Let's put the cooking table. Wait, what? <laughs> what does that mean, cooking table? Cooking, do you cook on the table? Like, is there like a heater thing on it? I guess let's put that there, put the oven here, kitchen counter here. Uh, let's put a sink here. Or should I do it the other way around? Ah, it doesn't matter. And where are the toaster? Oh, there it is. Toaster is right here. Can I put the toaster on? Oh, oh, it's so small. Okay. Uh, there's no inventory for it. Oh, okay. So this is actually our book now. Okay. Our fridge. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. So how does this work now? Uh, I guess I need these as well. Uh, I can put the tool rack here yes yes that looks very nice there and let's put i guess i don't know where to put the spice rack let's put it right here <laughs> yes our spices will be said dirt but oh well uh okay so how do i use this stuff now i'm not quite sure so the cooking oven here select an item on the right to see its recipe not enough ingredients. Okay, so let me grab some stuff here. To... Whoa, oh, we apparently we completed some quests, or a quest, I should say. What was it, the carrot quest? <laughs> yes, we got a single carrot for completing, and we completed that. Okay, so, oh wow, okay, let's see what we can do. So we have baking soda, um, we have that already. Bread dough, uh, okay, can I make that? <laughs> Oh, I can, but drying agent. What is this? Oh, really? Oh, okay. Flour. Fried egg, we already have some of that. Salt, we have some of that already. Salted raw pork chop. Oh. Steak and potatoes. Okay, we already made those. So let's make this drying agent. Okay. I didn't realize that was a recipe. So it's the, this here with the beetroots, okay. Uh, does it, one of these have a crafting bed recipe thing? Can I not craft in here? No. <laughs> um, okay. Can I craft in here? Do I, do I need to? Let's try crafting in here. Oh, nope. Cannot do that. I feel like this had crafting, didn't it? I guess not. Okay, so let's just do a regular crafting bench. So is this and then this? Or was it the other way around? Yeah, okay. Oh, it makes 24 per one, okay. Uh, let's see now, let's see if... Um, ball of drying agent, now we can make. Carrot powder. Oh, that's new. Uh, actually, we're getting some new stuff in here. Okay. Powdered egg. Mushroom powder, even. Flour. Okay, we already had that before. Let's make uh, that ball of drying agent. Okay, it's just a uh, 9 by 9 or 3 by 3 sorry. <laughs> okay, so I need to make some room. All right, so ball of drying agent. Let's see now if that makes anything new. Um, 
Okay, so we still have baking soda, bread dough, carrot powder, drying agent. We have that dried seeds. Okay, that's new. Wonder what you'd use dried seeds for. Do you, can you eat that? I guess. I think so. I'm assuming so. <laughs> okay, so it was, I think it was three and then this. Yep. Okay, so that makes four. What else can we do now? Nothing new. Okay. Let's try making some carrot powder and see what happens. Oh, okay. So it's literally just a carrot with the drying powder. Um, like that. Oh, it makes two. Okay. So let's try the egg as well. Oops. And what else could I make? Was it raw pork chop? I feel like it was. Nope. Um, okay. Let's see what we can do now. Uh, let's make some bread so we can unlock that. So bag of bread. Paper bag. I just want to make bread. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, so we need flour. Okay. Oh, if we put it in the a stoked kiln, it makes two bread instead of one. Okay. So to make flour flour it's right here so it's literally just one wheat is that all it is oh click again to craft <gasps> oh you can craft in this okay so it's so much better than going back and forth okay so let's put it in the oh you can't oh it won't cook wait why all right so maybe i need to cook it in here um I don't think that goes there. Bread dough. Oh, maybe I need bread dough. Okay. <gasps> it's working. <laughs> oh, this is, uh, you can watch it cook. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's done. It's done. Round bread. Uh, we did not make bread. <laughs> uh, I want regular bread. How do you make regular bread? So I need like this flour then. So how do I get better with mods flour? Okay, so you need a millstone. Okay, I feel like the mod pack creator kind of messed that up a little bit. I feel like, I feel like the bread should have been brown bread, if you know what I mean. Okay, so the wheat goes in here and then I'll get some flour from that. Okay, all right, so now What's this one? Roast squid on a stick. Okay. Roasted squid. How do you get roasted squid? Raw squid. Do I just kill a squid? Is that what it is? Uh, ink sack. Oh, you do get raw squid. Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't realize that. How much do you, oh, okay. So you get one per kill, I guess. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just a luck based thing? I don't know. Okay. So I did grab up some the flour too, by the way. So I'll cook that up. Where'd it go? Flour right here. So that's cooking up now. Uh what was the recipe for this <laughs> roast squid on a stick? Okay, so it's bit of salt, some sticks, and two roasted squids. So do I just roast those? Like literally roast them in a Yeah, okay. And this should complete a quest as well, right? Yeah, nice. Okay, so now we can do all these. What is this? Kill long on bread? <laughs> oh, you can actually use it a bunch of times, three uses. So it's unbreaked. Oh, wow, it's a bunch of dough, sugar, egg, cactus powder. Oh, okay. Uh, so I guess you just craft this one, right? I'm guessing. So it's this, and so sticks. Bit of salt and where's my roasted squid? Where'd it go? I don't see it. Oh, here it is right here. It blends in. Roast, roast squid on a stick. Okay. Another quest complete. And let's make some of this chicken soup. Oh, okay. So it's chicken. 
You can use raw chicken, carrots, ba uh, baked potato, and th bowls. Okay, and it makes three. So the bowls there, chicken there, carrots, and potatoes. <laughs> uh, maybe these need to be cooked up instead then. Okay, let's try it cooked. Oh, still not. Okay. Uh, what do I need to... Oh, and the cauldron. Oh, okay. That's that's actually different. I didn't expect that. Okay, so let's try this again. Uh, well, it was potatoes and carrots. Okay. So that should start cooking, right? Maybe... Wait, what? I'm confused. All right, so now it shouldn't be stoked, right? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay. So maybe I'll have to hook up like a wire to make it not stoked, like another lever over here or something. I don't know. Okay, so it's chicken soup now. We got that. Good. Okay, claim that. Nice. Okay, so we've pretty much unlocked all the beginner quests now for food. So I'll probably complete those off camera at some point, but not, not right now. I think we've done enough cooking for this episode. Uh, there's a lot to this mod, actually, that I actually didn't realize. So it's actually pretty cool. Oh, we can make a slice of bread now and even tasty sandwich. Oh, wait, what? How do I make this? Oh, I can make that right now. Yeah, let's do <laughs> to make a bunch of this stuff now i like how you can click uh to craft in here it's so much simpler okay uh let's make one more ham steak oh oh it's because i just need to cook it now the salted raw pork okay yeah all right so i think well, let's try the cooked chicken as well does it do anything no toast Oh, it automatically puts it in there. Oh, that's so cool. Because, yeah, look at Okay, so our bread only gives us that much. But look at toast. Toast is so much more. Throw those all in there. All right, so let's switch some gears here. And I want to get into uh, the industrial age here. We're gone getting this age complete as well. So I was looking at the storage and the, the immersive auto crafting. So... I remember looking at the storage and we were working on it, but it required so much iron at the time that I just I couldn't gather enough. But now, now is a different story. So uh, I do have 44 in here. I think I have more over here and it might be enough to make <laughs> them all. Uh, oh, there's only 11. I thought there was more. Oops. Let's see. Uh, I need 80, I think. And I have 52. Is it 80? 84. Okay, so I need 32 more, right? 32. Oh, boiler. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I still have to work on the distiller because uh, it, it like completes it as you build the blocks. And obviously, I wasn't working on that particular quest. So, like, we could cheat a little bit, but I also want to go through the entire mod pack. Let's, uh, I'm going to get some more pleats made up and I'll be right back. All right. That should be more than enough. Um, how did, how many did I need? 32? Half a stack, I think. Oops. Made a little, little more, a bit more than I thought needed. All right. There we go. And, oh, we get two. We get the tank and the silo. Okay. Uh, let's claim that. Let's check it out. Uh, okay, so I guess the silo would be for like storing items and then the tank would be for like liquids. Okay, so let's hook up this to the creosote um, because we are absolutely filled up again with the tank. Uh, I don't, I don't really know where to place this thing. I feel like the backside would probably be the best. Yeah. Okay, so let's place it right here. All 
Okay. So, for some reason... Oh, you know why? Because of the silo. I was going to say, for some reason, I needed way more for the quest than what the actual build needed. Uh, where do I hit this thing? Do I, do I even hit this? Uh, okay, well, I guess I can't build the tank. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I'm not really sure what's going on, but it, like I'm clicking all over the place and it's just not constructing it. Um, if anyone knows why, maybe leave it a comment or something. I, like, I don't know. So, anyways, we completed this quest. Let's work on this immersive auto crafting. Uh, okay, so we need six steel scaffolding. I think we have that already. Uh, iron sheet metal. We just made those sheet metal we can, slabs. We can get those redstone engineering blocks. We need two of those actually. That's actually, I think that's the first thing that we need two redstone engineering blocks on, I think. We need two light engineering blocks and two conveyors. All right, I'm going to get those together. Okay, I think I have everything. Oops. <laughs> uh, oh, apparently I already complete. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was going to say, apparently I completed it, but I didn't see the, the, uh, that pop-up thing. Okay, so assembler projector. What is this thing? Uh, I guess let's just put it over here for now. Okay, let's get everything out here. Most of the things at least. Okay, so redstone on both sides. That's super interesting. Never had that before. Okay, uh, no. What are those? Oh, they're conveyor belts. <laughs> and... Nope. What goes here? They have slabs? Oh, they are. Okay. <laughs> okay, that should be good. I know the conveyor belts say they're wrong, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't matter. What in the world is this thing? Whoa. Okay. What does this do? So I was just reading up on the assembler here and it's actually, so it, it auto crafts stuff. Like these are recipes you can do and it'll auto craft. This is where you put all your materials that you want to craft. Uh, so this might be pretty good later on. Not, not like right now, but like later on when we get into like the, I think it's called a digital age. Yeah, the digital age. Even maybe in the industrial revolution, uh, it might be uh, used there. But right now, I don't think we need it as much. Like we don't, we're not like auto crafting or creating a bunch of stuff all at once. So, aside from that, so I think we'll just leave this thing for now until we find a use for it. But right now, we kind of don't need it. I'm not 100% sure yet. Oh no, it's raining. Oh yeah, I don't know if I ever showed you guys this, but when it rains, the chimes I make a noise, which is so cool. I've also been working on the um, immersive auto workbench quest here, and I have everything together, so I can complete that now, and we'll get the projector for that. So let's go ahead. Oh, it's actually quite small. I was thinking it was going to be bigger. Let's just put it down here. Okay, hit it with the hammer. Um. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, so what is this thing? I, I haven't read up on this at all. So upon assembling the, the multi-block, a blueprint can be placed on its drawing table. After selecting the item that should be created, it will begin the assembly process. In order for the machine to work, it will need to be supplied with materials and power, of course. Uh, item inputs are the two hatches marked with blue dots. The power input lies above them. Uh, finished items are dropped at the end of the conveyor belt. A redstone signal uh, below the drawing cable can be used for control. 
Okay, so it's exactly like our bench here, but just automated. So you can supply it with items here, the blue inputs. So like a hopper would work with that. And it comes off the conveyor belt here. So another hopper into a chest would pick it up. Let's see here. If I want to make some circuit boards, I need insulating glass, uh, vacuum tubes, and copper plates. I have all those. So let's go ahead and grab this blueprint here. Let's just manually throw in the items that are needed to make it. What do I need now? Oh yeah, the tubes. And then, uh, okay. I think I got it going. <laughs> I should have, have everything in there. Oh, I need power, that's right. <laughs> I throw it here? Okay, there we go. Connect those two. Oh, well, it's input, that's why. Output, there we go. That should be getting power. Or does it not need power? Oh, no, it needs power. It needs 32,000. Um, oh, you know what? Those are relays. <laughs> there we go. Connectors might help. There we go. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh, okay. Okay, these are... <laughs> this is pretty cool, actually. Oh, there's even the, the press thing here. Oh, wow. Okay, that's pretty cool. I gotta admit, that's pretty cool. Looks like we are out of power. Yep, we're definitely out of power. Okay. Well, we can make things automated. I don't know. Like, I don't think that's super useful right now. I'm sure it will be definitely be useful in the future, though. Anyways, guys, this is going to be the end of the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys have a good day, and bye for now.